Dear viewers, on the occasion of the 34th anniversary of the establishment of Tele Lumiere Station, the 23rd anniversary of the founding of NoorSat Satellite Channel, and the commemoration of the launch of its satellite group, as well as the 14th anniversary of the NoorSat Satellite Office in the Holy Land of Jordan and Palestine, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, the Regional Director of the Satellite Channel in Jordan and Palestine, extends her sincere Congratulations and heartfelt wishes. We pray to the God Almighty that this occasion will be repeated and the peace will prevail in the Holy Land and Gaza and the whole world at large. We extend our best wishes to the management board of the Satellite Channel and all its staff for continued progress and success. Starting with the headlines, Prince Hassan, dialogue among followers of religions is achieved through justice among people and lifting injustice from them. Cardinal Pier Battista Pizzabella presided over the celebration marking the 40 year anniversary of the founding of the Order of the Incarnate Word. Patriarch Theophilus III discussed the Christian family law with the heads of ecclesiastical courts. At the conclusion of their conference in Cairo, the patriarchs of the Orthodox churches call for an end to the aggression against Gaza. Welcome back. His Royal Highness Prince Hassan bin Talal, Chairman of the Board of Trustees for the Royal Institute for the Interfaith Studies, inaugurated the 7th International Conference of the Institute under the theme, Humanity in Times of Peace and War. In his speech, His Royal Highness emphasized that the true meaning of dialogue among followers of religions lies in achieving justice and lifting injustice among them. He stressed the importance of discussing Eastern cultures as incubators of civilizations, embodying the spirit of enlightenment, human conscious unity, and universal human values. His Royal Highness also highlighted this necessity for human dignity to guide policies and respect the identities of others. On his part, Cardinal Louis Raphael Sacco, Patriarch of the Chaldean Church, emphasized the necessity of nurturing individuals on the divine message through education, mosques, churches, workshops, and media. Additionally, the Papal Ambassador to Jordan, Archbishop Giovanni del Tazo, underscored the importance of involving communities in interfaith dialogue to develop the concept of shared culture, enhance respect for international humanitarian law, defend human dignity, and uphold freedom of belief. On the occasion of the 40th anniversary of the founding of the Order of the Incarnate Word and 30 years of their service in the Holy Land, His Beatitude Cardinal Pier Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over the Divine Liturgy held at the Church of the Annunciation in Bethlehem. The liturgy was attended by several priests, nuns, official figures, representatives of Christian institutions in the Holy Land, and large congregations of believers. In his address, his beatitude spoke about Jesus and his obedience to the Father, urging the attendees to serve the little ones and emphasizing the importance of caring for them. He also explained the significance of the Incarnation in the life of the Church, emphasizing that faith is ultimately in service to the Lord Jesus Christ. At the conclusion of the gathering, the consecrated members of the religious family renewed their vows of perpetual monasticism. His Beatitude, the Patriarch of the Holy City in all of Palestine and Jordan, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, convened with all the heads and members of the ecclesiastical courts affiliated with the Orthodox Patriarchate. The meeting was attended by the President of the Court of Appeals, His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus, Archbishop of Jordan, for the Orthodox Greeks and the legal team of the Patriarchate. The attendees discussed all matters related to the Christian family law, which was ratified by the Holy Synod of the Patriarchate. This law has been in effect in all ecclesiastical courts since the 1st of March, aiming to keep pace with the developments of the times and to protect the Christian family and its cohesion. The 14th meeting of the heads of the Eastern Orthodox Churches in the Middle East concluded at the Papal Headquarters in Cairo. Under the patronage of Pope Tawadros II, the Pope of Alexandria, during the meeting, discussions focused on the Christian presence in the Middle East, relations with ecclesiastical families, and ecumenical councils. At the end of the meeting, a joint statement was issued expressing deep concern about the conflicts and tensions witnessed worldwide and condemning violence in all its forms. The conference attendees called on the international community to take appropriate action for an immediate end to the aggression against Gaza and to initiate meaningful negotiations for a permanent solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The statement emphasized that justice is the only force capable of ensuring the restoration of lasting peace in the Middle East. On the occasion of the Feast of the Virgin Mary, the Source of Life, His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, Archbishop of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox, presided over the Divine Liturgy at the Church of her monastery in Dirtibin, with the presence of the Mother Superior of the monastery, Mother Irina, her sisters, a large number of parishioners. 
During his sermon, His Eminence emphasized the significance of the great day in the Church following the glorious resurrection by the grace of the intercession of our Holy Mother, leading us towards salvation. He concluded with a prayer to the Almighty to safeguard Jordan, its government, people, and leadership, and to end the dreadful war in the Holy Land, lifting the suffering from Gaza and achieving peace in the land of peace. After announcing the launch of the website and the start of the trial of the broadcast for the Orthodox Station, His Eminence conducted a celebratory procession amidst joyful atmosphere, accompanied by the melodies of the Orthodox Scouts and Guides of Amman. The annual Synod Conference was held at the Evangelical Lutheran Church of the Redeemer in Amman under the theme of the Holy Trinity, the Overcomers. The prayer service was led by His Grace Archbishop Hussam Naoum, the head of the bishops, and the church pastor, Reverend Fuad Haddad. The event was attended by several pastors, priests, and parishioners from across the diocese in Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and Palestine. The two-day conference included various workshops covering financial and administrative topics, Additionally, discussed focused on current political situation and existing challenges in the Holy Land and the region. A divine liturgy was held at the Cathedral of St. Ephraim for the Syriac Orthodox in Amman to celebrate the new Sunday according to the Syriac tradition and the Eastern calendar for the Syriac Church. His Grace Archbishop Mor Antimius Jaak Yaqub, the Patriarchal Vicar of the Archdiocese of Jerusalem, Jordan and the Holy Lands, presided over the liturgy. He was assisted by Reverend Father Benjamin Shamoun, the priest of the Syriac Orthodox Parish in Amman, along with the church choir, which performed a selection of spiritual hymns in the presence of the congregation. During his sermon, Archbishop Jacques Yaqub spoke about the significance of the resurrection, calling on believers to rejoice on this day, which is a test of our lives. He also elaborated on the role of the Holy Spirit in renewing creation and restoring everything to its original state. At the liturgy, His Grace read the Gospel passage for that Sunday and concluded by expressing gratitude to Nursat TV for its coverage of Christian events. On the occasion of the Feast of Divine Mercy of the Parish of Our Lady of Annunciation for Latin Catholics in Lweb de Area in Amman, celebrated a divine liturgy led by the parish priest, Father Simon Hjazin. The liturgy was attended by the church servants, choir members, parishioners and guests. During the sermon, Father Simon emphasized the close relationship between the sacrament of forgiveness of sins on Easter and the sacrament of divine mercy. He explained that the Feast of Mercy was one of the desires of the Lord Jesus himself, revealed to St. Faustina in 1931, when he asked her to establish and celebrate this feast. His Holiness Pope John Paul II recognized it as an official feast of the Church through the Congregation of Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments. Mr. Firas Abul Ghanam, the Governor of Karak, accompanied by the Directors of Security Agencies in the Governorate, paid a visit to the town of Smekiya to extend greetings for the Easter holiday. They were welcomed by Father Khaled Gammo, the pastor of the Church of St. Michael for the Latin Catholics in Smekiya, and several other priests from churches in the Governorate, along with a group of locals. During the visit, the governor conveyed his congratulations to the residents of Smekiya for Easter and wished everyone a joyous and blessed holiday. In turn, Father Gammo expressed his gratitude to the governor and the heads of the security agencies for their noble gesture. These days mark the 8th anniversary of the inauguration of the Shrine of Blessed Mary Alphonsine, located in the Church of the Virgin Mary for Latin Catholics in Salt. Mary Alphonsine served in the first schools in Jordan affiliated with the Latin Patriarchate for two years. A grand celebration was held for the inauguration of the shrine in 2016 under the patronage of Patriarch Fouad Toile, attended by religious officials and public figures, as well as a large crowd of citizens. On this blessed occasion, we remember Saint Mary Alphonsine and her silent mission, which she fulfilled with love, faith and hope. In commemoration of her service to the city of Salt and its church, characterized by love, humility, dedication, and generosity, Dr. Basim Sam'an, the director of Nursat TV office in the Holy Land of Jordan and Palestine, funded the restoration of the shrine at her family's expense. In the Holy Land, His Grace Bishop William Shomali, the Patriarchal Vicar for the Latins in Jerusalem, presided over a divine liturgy to administer the sacraments of Holy Communion and Confirmation to 34 boys and girls from the Holy Family Parish in Ramallah. The service was attended by Father Yaqub Rafidi, Father Michael Adib, and a large crowd of parishioners and the children's families. During his sermon, Bishop Shomali emphasized the importance of prayer and the significance of the sacrament of confirmation, highlighting the fruits of the Holy Spirit. He urged the children to be witnesses of Jesus Christ in their daily lives and to possess the spirit of wisdom, strength, and piety. 
Her Highness Princess Ayal Faisal sponsored the graduation ceremony of the 10th cohort of students from the Scientific and Information Management stream of the second secondary grade at the Franciscan Sisters School. The ceremony held on the school stage included speeches by the school principal and the graduates in Arabic, English and French. At the end of the celebration, which featured artistic and performance segments presented by the school's students, Her Highness distributed certificates to the male and female graduates. Amidst joy and celebration, the Cathedral of the Archdiocese of Qatar in the capital of City Doha celebrated Holy Week and Easter. The service was presided over by His Eminence Archbishop Kyrios Makarios of Qatar, along with the attending priest Father Elias Barakat, a large number of believers from Qatar, as well as visitors from Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, participated in the consecration of oil and sacraments of the Holy Communion. During the celebration, the Byzantine choir performed hymns and chants for Good Friday in Arabic, Greek and Serbian, adding to the spiritual atmosphere of the occasion. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Prince Hassan, dialogue among followers of religions is achieved through justice among people and lifting injustice from them. Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella presided over the celebration marking the 40 year anniversary of the founding of the Order of the Incarnate Word. Patriarch Theophilus III discussed the Christian family law with the heads of ecclesiastical courts. At the conclusion of their conference in Cairo, the patriarchs of the Orthodox churches call for an end to the aggression against Gaza. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for watching. May your time be pleasant. And until we meet again.